In this video, we'll show you how to create a GTA character effect in Wondershare Filmora. First, open the Filmora app on your smartphone. Click on New Project and select the image you want to convert to GTA style. Click on Import and it'll take you to the timeline. Choose your image, then go to the menu and select Style. Here you can create different styles of AI images. Click on AI Photo Shoots, slide to the right, and you'll find options for Vice City Male and Vice City Female. If you're converting a male image, select Vice City Male. For a female image, choose Vice City Female. The AI will take some time to convert your image to a GTA character. Click on the check mark to save it. Save the project and exit. Now you can find your project in Drafts. Click on the three dots and select Upload. This will upload your project to Filmora Cloud, which is free to use. You can work on Filmora Mobile, Desktop, and Mac seamlessly. Click on the cloud, and you'll see your project saved on Filmora Cloud. Ensure you've logged in with the same ID on both Filmora Mobile and Desktop. Jump to Filmora on PC. On the Start interface, you'll find the option of Filmora Cloud. Click on it, and under Projects, you'll see your uploaded project. Select your project, right-click on it, Choose Download, and it'll prompt you to select a location to save. You can change the location as needed. Then, click on Download. Then, select Create Project, and you'll find the downloaded project. Double-click on it to open it in Filmora Desktop, and your AI GTA character image will appear on the timeline. Now, you can proceed to edit it. To give it a more retro look, go to the Effects tab and search for Old Camera LUT. Apply it to your AI image. Select the AI image, go to the Effects settings, and set Protect Skin Tones to 100. This will remove the LUT effect from the skin while preserving colors in other areas. To create a before and after effect, place the AI image at the 10th frame and keep it for 5 seconds. Then, place the original image on track 2 for 4 seconds. Go to the Transitions and apply Warp Zoom 6 to the original image at the start for 16 frames. At the 10th frame, set the scale to 110. At 1 second, set the scale to 100. Now, go to the mask and select Linear Mask. At 1 second and the 15th frame, change the position X to minus 763. At 2 seconds and the 5th frame, set X to 140. After 10 frames, add a blank keyframe. At 3 seconds, set X to minus 596. After 10 frames, add another blank keyframe. At the end, take the mask out of the frame towards the right side. Now, use the Audio tab to add music to your video. That's it! Now let's render the project to see the final preview. If you are interested in more visual effects, check out filmora.wondershare.com.